Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to see how to deal with files in, in C. We have this in data.txt with three numbers, and I would like to open this file. So we are going to use the if open function. Now, this is similar to the open function in, in Python. You simply provide file name and you provide the mode for, uh, for opening. Here we are using R for reading. Now, if open is going to return something for you, I'm going to store it inside a variable called in B. Now this could be any variable name and you need, as any variable, you need to declare it. So what should be the data type of this variable? This should be of the type file pointer. This is a new data type. You write file, all caps, then a star, because this is now a pointer variable. Now, after you open the file, what can you do? We will use f scan f. Now we already know about scan f to read something from the user. So from the user, you will use scan f. And assume you are reading an integer, you will provide placeholder percentage d, then you will provide the address of the variable of, a, of an integer variable. Assume here we have item as an integer variable, just like in the code. So I am telling the compiler basically read, read something, or I'm telling C read something from the user, read an integer from the user, store it inside item. In this uh, video, we are going to see how to use f scan f to read something from file. Now, just like scan f, you will have a placeholder that will specify the data type of the thing you are reading, and you need a variable to store whatever you read. However, you need also to provide a third argument, which is the file. In this case, in B, remember in B is coming from the fopen function. So whatever you get from fopen, you are going to provide it to f scan f. So you can read the statement as read an integer from in B and store it inside item. Again, in the code here, read an integer, one integer from this file and store it inside the variable item. Then I will simply print whatever I read from the file. So in our case here, remember the file is 322.64. So if I read one integer and store it inside item, I'm going to read number three. So the first print here will give me three. I will call f scan f again, reading one integer. In this case, I will read 22 and I will print it. The third statement will read 64 and print it. So when I run this, When I run this here, I will get 322.64, just as I expected. So each f scan f is going to read one integer. It does not read an entire line. It does only read one, one value. Now, let's see what we have next. So I'm going to still reading from this file. However, this time I'm going to define this new variable. I'm calling it input status. Now, what am I going to do with this variable is the following. I am reading from in B, same file, one integer, storing it in item. Now, unlike the code above, notice in the earlier example, we just call f scan f with no assignment. Here I am calling f scan f with assignment. So what exactly does f scan f returns? It does not return three. Here I'm reading three, but three will be stored inside item. So three will be stored here. So what exactly is returned here? It's something different. Now, when I run the code, notice that an item is a three as expected. However, input status is one. Why one? One here is the 
number of things, items, or anything basically of things you read from the file. So here we read only one number. So input status is one, F scan F or return one. When I read the next, the next number, which is remember 22, input status is still going to be one as well. Say item is 22, input status is, is one. When I call it a third time and I run, now I am reading the third value, 64, and input status is still one. So now after 64, I have nothing here, nothing left in the file. So when I call fscanf again, there is nothing new for me to read. So when I run the code, notice that input status is negative four, negative one, sorry. So negative one here indicates that the, or there is, there are nothing else to read, or there is nothing else to read. Again, one more time. What we did is I opened the file and I called f scan f four times. One, two, three, four. In the file, I only have three numbers, three integers. So here item will be three and input status will be one. Item in the second will be 22, input status one. 64 and the states one and the fourth time there is nothing else to be read so item still 64 it's not updated and input status is now minus one now why this is useful you can use input status to to you uh, to write a loop condition okay just like in this example here so I will write input status equal f scan f. Then while input status is one, that means there is uh, basically, I already read something from the file. So I, I can basically print it or um, do some calculation with it and read again. So I will keep reading as long as input status is one. If input status is negative one, which is which means basically there is nothing else to be read from the file i will stop so when i run this code i basically printed all three items then stopped reading okay one uh, last step when dealing with file is closing the file and i will use f close and here you will write the file pointer basically the variable you get from the function f open all right. By the way, input status um, is just a variable name, can be anything, uh, any integer variable, basically. Okay, last example, let's cover how to write to a file. So you will create a variable with any name. The most important thing, this file is file, um, this variable is a file pointer. So file star, then you open it, the mode should be W for writing, then you will use f print f to write to a file. Now the first argument will be the file pointer, like here, and then you will write whatever value you want to, to output to the file. Here we are outputting hello world with a new line, and in this case, we are outputting the content of the variable y. So basically 34.2. Then as usual, you have to close it with f close. You run this, you have the file with hello world and 34.2. I hope that was clear.
thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one